Yes. Yeah. You see the large numbers. Yeah. In past three, we have learned about the number of four digits. Now you see that uh, the largest, the largest four digit number, the largest four digit number is 999. The next, the next number of this is that is the succeeder. The succeeder. The succeeder of 9999 is 10,000. Yeah, 10,000 is the largest number, one of the largest number which is the next succeeder of largest four digit number. Next it is a five digit number. The smallest five digit number. Now I will tell you about the largest numbers. Yeah. You see that now the place value chart. Place value Place value chart. Place value chart. In this place value chart, you see it up here. In class 3, we learned about the place value chart. But now, I will tell you about the some more. Additional places here yeah, you see them. In the last three, we learned up to thousand place. Then here you see that the graphs are table like this. This table is divided into four periods. Periods. P E R I O P E R I O. Yes, periods. Here, this place value chart it is divided into four periods. The first one is units. Units period. Then you see this is units. This units period is divided into again three places. How many places? Three places. The first one is one place, one, one place, this is one. The next place is tens, tens, this is tens. The next third one is hundreds, hundreds. Here, these are the three places. This is units period. The units period is divided into three places. What are the three places? One, tens, hundred. The next of the units period is thousands. What is thousands? We are in the time this year. Thousands period. This thousand period again. It is divided into two places, not three. Units is divided into three places. But thousands period is divided into how many? Two places. Two places. That is one thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Let's say like this here. This is one thousand. The next is 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, like this, here, 10,000, then after the thousand period, the next is lakh, what is that, lakhs period, L-A-K-H-S, lakhs, this lakhs period is there to be again, Two places, like thousands. One lakh, one 
red, one red, one followed by five zero. This is one red. The next is ten red. Ten red. This ten red is here. We see that three followed by one followed by six digits. Right. Then here this is ten lines. After the lines, then say next is cross. Cross period. This cross period, again you see that it is divided into one cross. One crore. This one crore. It is one followed by seven digits. One followed by seven digits. Right. The next page is ten crore. Ten crore. Yeah. This is one followed by eight ten crore. Like this. This is the place value chart. This place value chart here, wherever we read the larger number or smaller number, whatever number may be, when we read, you have to divide the number into periods. You have to divide the number into periods. While dividing the number into periods, you remember you start the division from right side to left side, from your right hand to left hand. We are just I am writing on the here, you see that we are yeah. You see that I have written one number. This number is added here, eight digits. Then why dividing this type of number into period? You have to start from your right hand side. Here the first zero comes from the number ones, tens, hundreds. Again you see ones, tens, hundreds. You put a comma, ones, tens, hundreds. This three digits goes under units. U units. The next is after units, this seven, then one ten hundred, this seven comes under thousand, thousand, ten thousand, thousand, ten thousand. Here, like this, if you come on, here this is thousands. Just I am writing here, like this, here thousand. This sixty seven comes under thousands. The next, after the thousand, it is lakhs, ten lakhs. Five is in lakhs, here. Four is it? Ten lakhs. Lakhs and ten lakhs. Here is forty five comes under lakhs. Lakhs. The next three comes under crores. Crores. Now you see that whenever you read the number, before reading the number, you divide the number into periods. You have to divide the number into periods. Here, yeah. then after dividing the number into period, then now it is easy to read the number. Here you see that this eight digit number I have divided into period. Again, you see that how I write. You start from your right hand side, one, ten, hundred. This three digits goes into units period. Thousand, ten thousand. This two digit goes into thousand period. Lag and lag. This two digit goes into lag period. This three goes into close. If now you read the number along with the period. Now you see. This three is in which period? Close period. Three close. This 45. 45 is under which period? Lags. Three close. 45 lags. This 67 is in which period? Thousand. Let's again three crores forty five lakh sixty seven thousand eight hundred ninety eight hundred 
In this way, you read the number. Then I am very clear some numbers you say. You divide the number into periods and you write their number, maybe for over. Okay? You cannot just to say that I am writing here. It is not visible clearly, and now I am writing it in my own form. This homework means some numbers I am writing here. You divide the numbers into periods. Okay? I am writing here some numbers. Here, you see that here I have written a nine digit number. So you have to divide the number into periods. First thing you have to put the commas. One stands hundred, put comma, after hundred plus thousand, ten thousand, again put comma here, then lakh, ten lakhs, again put comma here, four, ten two, four, ten two. You need not to put your comma. Then after that you read, write the number. Okay, now we we'll see. This number also. Here it is a eight digit number. Okay, this sign I can get number. Okay. You read, just you divide the number into periods and you write the number name and you submit in the WhatsApp. Okay? Then next, next class I will meet you again. Okay? Yes, thank you.